Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? Glad to see everybody here this morning. I really, really appreciate it. And I know uh, I can speak for Doug, uh, Ed, and certainly myself. Um, we are humbled that everybody is here. Appreciate it very, very, very much. All right. So um, here, let's do this. Uh, right now, I can't help with this because, you know, we're doing pre-market here. Uh, but anybody that has not downloaded the phone app, once we get going this morning, if you haven't done that, you need some help, please, please, please let me know. Um, and we'll do that. Uh, second, I want to remind everybody that uh, every morning there is a um, hit, run of ca hit Run Candlesticks blog uh, written as well as Right Way Options. And this is right here on the home page and uh, um, the the hit and run candlesticks blog is written by Ed Carter the right way option is written by Doug Campbell and two two many times it's two different views uh, sometimes it's the same views they do not get together to write the blog so you really get uh, I think a great picture and a great overview of, of the market and what's going on um, each day I post uh, uh, inside the blog uh, a list of trade ideas that we're adding to the watch list and that'll be um, the trade ideas that we look at in just a moment here. We'll do that. The other thing that I want to remind you of as a member or trial member, good morning Julie, Larry, Gavin, Rita, Antonio, hello everybody, um, is that once you uh, log in as a member over here, you log in. You can see I'm logged in now. Uh, if you come over here to the hit and run candlesticks, um, and you can do the same thing uh, with right way options. You can come over here to the right way options uh, side as well. And below, you know, where you log in below here, there's a lot of information that might be helpful to you. Uh, one thing I want to point to on the hit and run candlesticks side right now. Um, we've been kind of updating this and working on it and with the with the uh, Fed minutes starting today you know the meeting today and then tomorrow um, I want I want to just run through this little information sheet here and then get to this page if you come to this and then if you just click on that link right there uh, what this will do will give you the uh, economic calendar is what it is so uh, you can see that tomorrow you've got the ADP report uh, international uh, trade uh, as well as the ISM report and then the EIA report and then of course here at 2 p.m. which is the big one um, uh, the uh, FOMC and it just you know this updates every week so you can just start with money and you can see what kind of information uh, or what's on the economic calendar if you follow uh, that sort of thing it's there so anyway I just want to remind everybody that alrighty let's take a look at uh, the market and um, uh, a few trade ideas that I'm adding to the watch list I do want to remind everybody just because it's a trade idea that we talk about it today doesn't mean it's a buy today not even not even remotely does it mean it's a buy today. It means exactly what I'm saying about it. I'm putting it on the watch list and I'm going to wait for certain things to happen. And uh, we'll, we can talk about those a little bit uh, during uh, this pre-market. We can certainly talk about those later today after the market opens up what I might be looking for. Okay. So first of all, let's make it very clear here the market is still owned and I do mean owned by the bears okay I don't I don't I'm not sure that the bulls own uh, very much more than a sliver of the market price is still underneath the t-line and look this is not this is not tough stuff okay this is easy stuff price is under the t-line the t-line is under the trend indicator trend indicators under the 50 50 is under the 200 that is bearish. We could come in here and put some big whopping candle in today 
that did something like that and the truth is the market is still bearish okay so uh, we're gonna look at some long trades today we sure are remember they're not necessarily meant to be bought today none of them are recommendations to buy these are from my watch list and I share my watch list with everybody and I'll be waiting for certain things to happen and again I'll talk about those here so there's nothing about the spy that looks bullish it looks like we're gonna open up around that 415 45 area uh, still underneath the T line if we take a look at the Q's again there is nothing bullish about this chart we are still trending down um, yesterday we had a pretty decent day but one day does not make a trend turnaround so um, as far as I'm concerned we would have to get over about 330.15 here this high right there we're gonna have to get over that high before this becomes a good tradable bottom and then we're gonna need to see you know this uh, we'll call this a low we're gonna need we're gonna have to be up here we're gonna have to test and then we're gonna look for um, 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 buyers in here uh, Nick is at, is asking what is the approximate schedule for speakers today uh, far as I'm no it'll be just like yesterday I'll be here until 1030 Eastern and then Doug will come on for a couple hours and then I think Ed will come on um, I don't have the exact times uh, then I'll come back on and then uh, it, Doug and I will arm wrestle for the closing um, uh, so today is the last day of the open house and I certainly again want to thank everybody for being here okay all right um, UVXY let's talk about that UVXY uh, this is what I follow a lot uh, in the market uh, this and VX uh, the VIX uh, I have this on a uh, another monitor I generally follow UVXY because I trade UVXY so I tend to follow it yesterday I mentioned that if we closed and it wasn't quite this bad um, if we close with an evening star uh, I had mentioned that uh, I felt that we're gonna see a lower low in the market and we did that those that have the phone app you received an alert yesterday um, what time oh I'll have to go back and look um, oh there it is uh, where where I posted in the phone app that I bought uh, UVXY puts uh, 21 strike May 21 strike and that was at 221 p.m. Uh, yesterday uh, I think that's I don't know if that's Eastern time or 321 thank you Julie thank you so it must be 321 Eastern so this is my time that it puts up so I I felt thanks Julie appreciate it uh, so uh, looks like uh, there'll be a little penny or nickel made on this uh, because we are moving down from that candlestick that shooting star and the 200 period moving average so with that said let's take a look at the market here and let's take a look at a few charts uh, I've got a list of some long charts and a list of short charts again you can go get the full list from the hit run candlestick blog there okay so up work I kinda like up work and by the way everything I look at everything Doug looks at with right way options can be traded via just a stock if you would like to trade it options you can certainly trade the chart options providing it's optionable and if it meets your requirements for maybe uh, open interest or something like that okay an example is Upwork I talked about this yesterday I would have bought this yesterday but it did not have enough open interest for me in the option so this looks like it's a stock trade uh, it may have enough open interest for somebody uh, it just doesn't have enough for me so uh, I neglected to buy this or I would have bought this yesterday and I mentioned it right here in the room so uh, here we have a uh, let's see here where's my pencil at there we go here we have a low we have a high a higher low 
Here we have a higher high. We've come back and made a bottom here. Now I would be looking for positive trading over this 2275 area for maybe another setup in anywhere in the area above the 50 period moving average uh, would could be a possible entry as well. Targets, I'm looking at about 2560, then about 2815. Ultimately, the targets don't mean nothing. Squat, zero, zip, nada. What matters is price action and how you manage your trade. This might give you some ideas of some sky hooks up here, but the reality is price is king, price rules, it's number one. Everything is a massive distance, distant number two. So um, follow price. Let's see, Fabio, Rick, if you risk 3% of your account for options, how do you calculate the risk when trading shares? Um, Fabio, let's, you know, this is the pre-market here. I've only got so much time, so let's talk about this kind of stuff uh, after the market opens, okay? I, I have a very limited time here uh, this morning, so uh, let me get through these these stocks, if you don't mind, please. Thank you. Uh, pins is another one I like. Now, um, I like pins over 23.85 or over the 50-period moving average here. Uh, it certainly is tradable for somebody here, but I prefer it up here. And what I'm going to look for, I'll just put my buy box up there, and then, uh, you know, it's it's what charts do. If if it's truly going to have follow through from here, then it will follow through. And then I'm going to look for that uh, entry, and that entry is typically an inside day, a three eighths trap, a three eighths trap breakout. Something like that. That that's what it uh, typically is. So um, I'm not like I said. I'm not worried about buying it here. I get it if somebody does. Um, I truly get it. But I'm just going to wait for this. And then above that 50 period moving average, it will become a rounded bottom breakout. And then first target will be about that 28 area. We better go look at some shorts as well. So um, EL. I think that reported today. So I think what I would be looking for here is um, a bounce and then look for a short first target around this 216.90, 217 area. So um, what I would like to see is a bounce up, uh, something like this right here. So if the buyers come in and pick this up a little bit, look for that bounce, and then I'll look for that short as we move up. DocuSign is another one. Uh, I think DocuSign, once we get through 8045, 6140, might be a target here. Here we've rallied up to the 50 period moving average when we failed. This is a type of blue ice failure. And you can see how we've just run down here and we're putting a little uh, consolidation in right now. FCX might be another short. Uh, big move to the downside. See how we rallied up? And this, this rallied right into a uh, excellent area to maybe look for that short and follow through below the 200 period moving average. That's the red line right here. This also is a short setup. Uh, what I'd be looking for toward the downside is maybe 36.40, then 32.10 ish, something like that. Again, these are stocks I'm just putting on the watch list. Does not mean that they'll be bought today. In fact, with uh, the FOMC uh, announcement tomorrow, um, I'm thinking more toward the cash side of things, uh, be basically being a chicken in the market. Um, I would rather uh, protect anything instead of own something and hope that the market, or hope, hope I know what, how the market is going to take any Fed decision. So the likelihood of me holding a lot tonight or uh, over, you know, the closer we get to two o'clock tomorrow, uh, the more likely I am to be leaning toward cash and not buying something. Uh, I doubt I'll be 100% cash, but uh, I'm not going to be in a bunch of positions either. Uh, GLW might be setting up here, and I'm interested in GLW over 3670. 
So far, we have a pretty nice chart set up. Uh, I just don't care for all the the uh, overhead resistance we write we have right here. So if if we continue with a breakout here, that will make me feel better uh, about the bulls actually taking a little control. So uh, ab above that 50 period moving average, which really what I've marked here uh, is above these highs, the 50 just happens to be there. Uh, so above uh, 36.70 up into here is where I might be looking for an entry. Car, C-A-R is another one. Car ended up yesterday, real nice, great volume on it, terrific candle. We're showing an inside day today. So uh, there's my buy box right in there. Uh, target 344, 374 up there uh, with follow through. Uh, of course, it's going to have to break out of this uh, peak up here, this, this pop. And now you can see how that J-hook continuation is starting to work out. But it will have to get through the 325 area. Uh, Roku. I kind of like Roku, what it might be doing here. Uh, again, this is not one I'm interested in buying here. I'm more interested in buying it above 117. So what I'm looking for is price to pop up and then set up. So price pop, could it could take a week. Could happen today, could take 10 days. I don't know that. All I know is I'll know when it gets up here because I have everything put on the scanner and I have my watch list set up on the scanner. Uh, and then I have the scanner set up to alert me when certain things are happening, like a rounded bottom breakout, for instance. So once we get up here, this will trigger a rounded bottom breakout and then I'll let it consolidate and then I'll watch for those buyers there. Target 136, 163. And then you've got the dotted deuce up here as uh, a target as well. Um, let's see, do we do AA? No, oh, I can't remember if we did. So here's AA. We popped right down to the dotted deuce. That's that dotted line. You can see where we rallied up to the T line and we completely failed there with a bearish engulf. And now we're moving down. On weakness, so below yesterday's low, I would look for 58, 60, 54, and then we'll take it from there. PFE, PFE might be a short uh, if it continues. Now, what I'm going to be looking for is if it starts to fail yesterday's candle. So below yesterday's candle, then we'll look at 45, then 4170 here. You can see where we put the top in, made a high, a low, a higher, a lower high or failed high right at the 50 period moving average trend indicators red still looks like a short uh qcom for a long uh qcom is uh is kind of set up right now uh, i kind of like the way it's set up here so uh, above 142.50 anything below that and i won't like it anything above that i'm okay with it um uh, then I'm looking for 155, 161, and real value after that. Facebook. Now, Facebook is one that I own. I bought that yesterday. Uh, looks like we're going to open up a little higher uh, today, so we're working out pretty good on Facebook. Uh, I like Facebook above that 50-period moving average. The reason I like this, uh, the rounded bottom breakout is one of my favorite chart patterns. And that's what we have here. That's a rounded bottom breakout. Be more happy to talk about this more in the trading room today, okay? Um, so we've got a low, a high. We pulled back for a higher low. Looks like we're trying to push up for that higher high. Um, first target, 230, 245. And then we'll look at the dotted deuce up here as well. Um, QT, good year for a short. So I'm watching Goodyear for a short. It's going to have to show me a little weakness here. Uh, I'm not going to short it just, just right here necessarily. This has earnings in a couple days as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, but on weakness, um, I see where we can get back down to 1150, maybe even lower. Um, Oracle. <laughs> Oracle's kind of funny. 
I've um, I've I've talked about Oracle for the past two weeks on how I want to be bullish on this thing so bad. Um, I'm losing my my interest in it, which means it's probably getting ready to be bullish. So, uh, but until then, until then, right now, what I'm looking for is a possible short trade. Anything above 276.60, I probably won't like that short. Anything below the 500 period moving average, which is right here at 73.40, and or yesterday's low, I'll be looking for about 70 and then about 66 for price targets. Like I said, I would really like to be long this. I truly would. Uh, but a couple of things are going to have to happen. For instance, that trend is going to have to be broken. Number two, we're going to have to see a low, a high, a higher low, and a higher high. That's just That just has to be. And uh, so I'll wait patiently. I'll keep this on the watch list um, as long as I still feel that I want to be long in it. Uh, but right now is not the time. Right now it's more of a short. Uh, Intel. Uh, Intel, I'm looking for a possible short here. The trend is still down. We're still down here. I would love to see this rally up a little bit and give us a little bit of a short sell signal. Get into this short, and then I'm going to look for about 4160 here. Of course, it's going to have to break down through these lows right here. Um, CBE, CBE, I'm looking at a long, uh, beautiful trend, beautiful trend, excellent trend. Uh, we gapped down right to the 50. We rallied up to a high. We pulled back for a higher low. Uh, let's see what this does today. If we start to move up over yesterday's candle, uh, that may be a long trade. Uh, 20 bucks, 21 bucks up here as a target. MVIS is one. Um, keeping an eyeball on this one. Not interested in it down here. Um, I'm interested in an above 395 or the 50 period moving average here. Uh, from there, I will shop for that entry. A very typical, extremely common entry for me will be a, uh, say, a 3H trap, a 3H trap breakout, um, a bullish candle bouncing off the 50 period moving average since that's where we're at. Uh, Maybe even just a bullish candle bouncing off the T-line, uh, something like that. Uh, looking for that entry right in there. So thanks, Julie. Yes. Uh, yes, Al, this is uh, the daily time frame. Yes, it is. So, All right. Um, here is uh, I want to, a few positions I'm in. Uh, I'm in Facebook long. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I'm also in Oxy long. I bought this yesterday. Just looking for a little move up. Um, take some profits. Be happy. Uh, UVXY, that looks like uh, that's going to pay this morning, so I'll be on top of that right away. Uh, VLO is another one I bought yesterday because of the uh, Fig Newton chart pattern here. Uh, we had a breakout Fig Newton chart pattern. It looks like we're headed up a little bit. I'd love to see that 120.70, maybe even a little higher. And I'm still short Wells Fargo, uh, looking for more downside uh, on Wells Fargo. All righty. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you back here in about 15 minutes. That's when the market opens up. And then we'll, well, let's just have some fun today. All right. Thanks a lot for being here. See you shortly.